What's up guys, it's Taylor Timothy and today we're going to be talking about some simple tips and tricks that I've learned about Google paid ads. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about Google paid ads is the first one is call only campaigns. Now call only campaigns basically prompt them to call your business directly from Google. Now we're not talking search campaigns and sending them to a website. Literally the objective is to get phone calls to your business. So the first thing with call only campaigns, what I highly recommend is one, you use maximize clicks as your bidding objective and the reason being is maximized conversions is set up for lead forms if people are filling out forms and going that direction so i got on the phone with google and this is what they said and i have tested both of them back and forth and have found that maximized clicks is the best bidding thing for call only campaigns the second thing with call only campaigns that you guys need to be absolutely sure of and make sure that you are doing this is using exact match keywords and phrase match keywords only. If you guys are running broad match keywords, you're gonna be wasting so much money on these call only campaigns. The second thing I wanna talk about is when to use broad keywords. So if you guys are over listening to my podcast, if you guys are watching any of these other videos, I preach all of the time, never use broad modifier and never use broad keywords. So there's only one time, one time that I recommend that you use broad and broad modifier keywords. And here they are. When you are using tight demographics, so if you are running in a city of 40,000 people, you might have to use broad keywords or broad modifier keywords. Now, if you're ever running in inside the nation, you never ever use broad or broad modifier keywords. Now, the other exception to this is if you are doing, if you have tested exact match and you're not getting any search results showing up with exact match, and if you are using phrase match, as well and you're not getting any search terms then you might look into opening up to broad modifier keywords so those are the only two times ever tight locations and basically if you're not getting any search terms for your exact match or your phrase match keywords third thing i want to talk about is youtube ads on tv placements how to disable this now, the reason why I'm not a fan of this is if you are running a campaign and you're trying to get opt-ins, how are they gonna opt in on the TV? You can't, unfortunately. They only can opt in on a desktop, a tablet, or a phone. So the way you go in and disable this is you go in under overview, and then you go down into devices and you decrease your bid on TVs by 100%. And this is how you can go in and disable those ads over on TVs. The fourth thing I wanna talk about is how to get your ads approved. So sometimes your ads are gonna get flagged by a bot and you're like, why? I'm following all the guidelines and everything. And what you have to do is you have to go in there and just make very minimal adjustments to the text. And a lot of times this will push them back into the review process and they get approved super quick. So this is a super simple tip and trick that you guys can go out there and get your ads approved a lot faster. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about tips and tricks on Google paid ads, post in the comments below. Don't forget guys to go over and check out my course. I teach you guys from start to finish how to set up your Google paid ads, how to set up Facebook ads, Instagram ads, how to create a website that actually will convert traffic to your business. All in all, you're going to get more leads, more sales for your business if you go in and implement this entire process. So go over and check it out. Other than that, hit that subscribe button and peace.